Hello gamers, how's it going? So I've tried to do this video about 50 times. I don't know what it is. Arknights videos for me are just really difficult to do. It's nothing to do with Arknights. I just get too into this and I'm just like, I lose all my words. So anyway, we're going to be reviewing my account today. This account, I'm going to warn you now, sucks balls. It, do it does, all right. It really does. I need your help. If you are a semi-decent player or even beyond like... Do IQ, please let me know what I need to do with this account. I need all the help I can get. Literally, not even joking. I need help for this game and in real life, of course. But anyway, currently a level 79 account. I've had a lot of breaks from the game. I started this game, uh, started this account in 2021, 5th of 5th. So, quite a long time ago. It wasn't really at the start of the game. But when I did hear about this game, I really did enjoy it. I still do to this day. I feel like I'm actually really, really getting back into it. Probably these are my support units. I just kind of threw them in there. I don't really know what they're doing there half the time. Ignore the medals as well, but look on this account. So, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. So, we have a few characters built here. We have about 23, I think, characters who are e 2 The rest aren't are kind of all over the place. I would pretty much ignore everything past this point. Just past Kawara, it's kind of a mess. I'll get into that a little bit later. But as you can see here, you know, I've got Gavial, Chen, Passenger, uh, Spectre, Posey, Mudrock, some of my favorite characters in the game. I have, like, for example, Phantom, but Phantom's gonna kind of fall off of Texas, realistically. Uh, Mountain. All these really nice characters. I actually got a lot of crap for building a certain character recently because with the Texas banner coming in eight days, I, listen, I know, I know, I know. I built Stainless, all right? I got Stainless and I built him. Listen, he's great, right? He's great. I mean, just look at him. You know, he's got, he's got ears. Got, you know, he's got ears. He's got this gun. You know, he's got turrets in the actual, in actual gameplay. You know, his outfit's pretty cool. You know, I'd say it's a win in my books because, you know, if I pull for a character that looks cool, I get points for being cooler as a person. That's kind of my general, like, you know, idea. That's kind of why I built him. He's not actually max level or, like, max uh, ranked with his skills. Solely because I'm just trying to be, like, uh, you know, I'm trying to, like, hold back because, you know, I can make him insane. But, you know, I don't want to, like, ruin anyone else's experience at the same time. But Stainless is a character I regret building. Not gonna lie, for now. He's good, but a lot of people gave me crap for building him. And to be fair, with Texas Banner, I kind of get it. Now, I have Siege, for example, Kyobe, and Tequila, you know, original Spectre. There are a couple characters I really regret building. For example, like, if I go into Kyobe, I actually got the skin solely because, you you'll see her skills are maxed. I got the skin solely because I just don't really like the original. Like, this one is a big, big no. But this one is like, you know, it's not really my type of skin. So I thought I would use it more often when I actually got this one. Yeah. <laughs> I got the skin and I like stopped using it completely. So, you know, it, it's kind of a regret. I don't really know how to use that. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. But it does kind of bring on my next point, which I want to talk about. This kind of goes for literally a lot of people, probably. Maybe you're watching this video and some of your characters aren't really like max level or you don't know how far they should go. So, for example, my Gavial is currently level 60. I could get her to level 90. But it requires so much investment, I don't know if it's worth it. Some people do go level 90 on like some characters. Is it something I should do? Just a straight up question. Is this something I should do? I'm going to say probably not. But if you have any other ideas in the comments or anything you want to message me on Discord, please let me know. Honestly, I think going E2 level 40 is like the bare minimum. And I feel like if you're a player who like, you know, doesn't want to invest like everything and take like lots and lots of time just building like one unit, doing this is like probably the bare minimum. You know, E2 level 40 you know, you get kind of like good stats, but in turn, you also get the third skill if it's like a six star or, you know, the best stats on literally anyone above three star, really. That's kind of my thoughts on it. 
But it's kind of a bit of a confusing one now. This brings up another point. Oh boy. So, you'll see my skills, right? <laughs> they're not very leveled up. As you can see, they're rank 7, but none of them are really specialised. It kind of hurts with Chen. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Chen's very good, as you all know. She's not even... Her third skill isn't even max. Like, it, it hurts, right? I really need to focus on this. It's kind of something I've been just slacking on. I think the only character I have max skilled is my Myrtle. Thank God, by the way. Thank God I've got it maxed. I don't even think this was like the right one to go for. I think... I think this one was to go for, but I might be wrong. I think, I think this one's actually the better one to go for. There's kind of a problem. I actually don't even know. I don't even know half the time, but... What about characters I actually want to build as well? Kind of for the future, since I have actually got better at the game a little bit, as I really want to build Bagpipe. Bagpipe is just great. I actually realized like a moment ago I have a potential on her as well, which is obviously like a very helpful thing to have for a Vanguard. She is just fantastic. If you actually don't have a build, I really do recommend it. I've never really built her. Just because I've got so much to build. <laughs> She's probably my next thing after Texas. I need to like level up her skills. I will do that later in. I'm not going to do that right now. She has a module as well. I didn't even know about. That's actually pretty cool. I like this skin the most. To be honest, I, I know there's this one. But personally, I actually prefer this one. Just straight up. But this, like, these like Scottish vibes. I'm kind of into it. And you know, in that way as well. But with this account, funnily enough, you might see I have a Siege and Hoshiguma. I don't know build a Hoshiguma. I re-rolled for a Hoshiguma and a Siege. Oh, I know. Start of the game, I re-rolled for these two, and I was like, yes, I'm going to be so good. I even have a potential for her. God, do I regret it. It was such a bad idea. Jesus. I could have literally went with, like, Silver Ash, Hexui, Aya, like... Literally anyone, and I was like, you know what, let's go Hoshiguma. What a badass looking character, she must be so good. I'll say her skin's very cool, right? But it's a big no for me, I'm not gonna lie. I, I regret that so much. Uh, Lumen's actually someone I want to build for a while. I need to... Texas is someone I really like. Platinum's kind of someone I got a skin for a while back. I actually... I've always had the soft spot for Platinum because she's just... I just really like a design the start of the game. She's quite helpful as well. Lapland is someone I've almost E2'd at some point. I think, yeah, I almost E2'd her. And then I decided against it because I just decided to pull for Gavial. So, obviously worth it in the end. But, you know, I also want to E2 my J, you know, McGarlin. And that comes with my second problem here as well, which is... I kind of tried to build these other units like Padenko, for example. Just for integrated strategies. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of just stopped doing that for some reason. I was kind of like, yeah, I'll do that at some point, and then I just stopped doing that. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I got some units as well, like Ark and Schwartz, uh, recently from trying to pull for the blonde boy himself. I forgot his name as well, but the blonde man himself. Uh, yeah, I tried to get him, and I got Schwartz and Ark instead, so... It kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, really, these are like my two least favorite units in the game. I'm just gonna be honest. Most team is actually someone I want, but Ark, you know, obviously, the Bailey Wolf is really the ideal unit to get, especially when you're trying to get the Bond Man himself. But that's kind of my account in general. There's quite a lot I want to do with this account and build Tlopsis as well. I could be here forever and just constantly talk about this. If you want to see more videos like this, please do let me know. If you have any advice, that is kind of what I'm hoping for. On this video, maybe you can tell me something. I'm not really a whale or like anything like that. I've, you know, you know, I've done some things here and there. I really want this Lee skin, but I don't have Lee, unfortunately. I just think this skin's so cool. I like two D skins. Let's be honest, right? Let's be honest. They're great. This skin is like the most adorable thing as well. I've been considering getting it solely because it's a maid skin, and I love. I just love. I'm I'm into that. You know, I love it. I love it. It's just so cool. I've literally not even got a belt. So, yeah, that's my problem. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop us a like. If you want to see more, please do comment down below. We have a Discord. And if you're interested, we will 
be there answering your questions because I know everything about Arknight, which is a complete lie. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you next one. And adios.